This is Jared from Commit Quality. And in this video, I want to go over some updates made to the UI tool and the Trace Viewer tool in Playwright as part of version 1.34. If you want to follow along with what I'm doing, just make sure that in your package, Jason, you've updated Playwright to version 1.34 or later, of course, if you're watching this in the future and run your npm install command so you're, you're able to use the new functionality that's been added. Now, I just want to walk through what I've actually did here as my setup. I've added a custom before each hook here just to say go to Google. Don't ask me why, it was just so I could show um, hooks appearing. I've then got one simple test, which has a test step inside of it. And inside that, we just go into commitquality.com and we're just expecting that the filter text box is to be visible. And then we do have commented out code here, which I'll show you in a little bit of where we're taking a screenshot and comparing the page against a uh, current screenshot. I do also want to state as well in my Playwright config, I've made sure that I've turned videos and screenshots to on because um, the new update will attach to these for us. So let's actually just jump into the uh, Playwright UI mode by saying mpx playwright test dash dash UI. Let's hit enter on this and we'll see what things we can see different. So immediately kind of looks the same. You might have noticed you have this attachments tab here, which is one of the new features added. Um, what I'm gonna do is just click play to run the single test I have and we'll break down what we can see. So let's click into the basic test because that's done. And immediately you might've already noticed we have a few extra things added to our actions. First of all, we have a before hooks. So we have a before each hook here. If I click into the drop down, it's showing us exactly what's happened before our test has been created. So it's showing us all the fixtures that happened, which is like creating the context, the browser, the page. Um, but also you might've noticed we have this page.go to, which as I highlight over, you can see in the source here that this is the before each that I added into my test file, which if I go back to here, you can see you've got the Google, um, go into Google happening here in the before each. This will also work for before all and it'll work for after each and after all as well. So you can have a play around and have a little look at that one. Really cool they've added these as well because you can kind of see then even behind the scenes what what the play what playwright test is doing and setting up for us. We're making sure it is all working as expected. So in this case, we've got the browser launching, even gives us the milliseconds how long it took. So we can kind of break down where any slowness, slowness might appear in our test, if it's something to do with our test or if it's something to do with the setup, which is of course controlled by Playwright itself. Like I said, you've also got the after hooks as well. So you can see here where you're kind of closing it down, saving your video and everything else that happens behind the scenes. We'll come back to this in a second because uh, we're going to talk about this with the attachments. But also you can see is when I added my test step now, it breaks it down for us. So if we want to make our tests a little bit easier to debug, um, maybe organize them a bit better, organize the test steps a bit better, we can use this test step approach to say, here's what I navigate, maybe here's my actions and here's my assertions. And then what you can do now in the trace viewer tool and the UI mode is click down into them and you can kind of separate those uh, concerns really neat really cool i really like this i touched on the after hooks where we show attachments so what you can do is you can click the attachments tab here and if you hover or, or click on any of these you'll see any associated attachments of course we don't have anything at the moment for these but if i go to the after hook what you can see here is a video which has been generated and this is because i have in my Playwright config, I have videos set on. Now you may have noticed I've got screenshots set on and nothing's appearing. Now that should appear. However, the reason it's not is it looks like it's a bug. I had a look through Playwright's GitHub. Um, they've identified it as a bug to be fixed in version 1.35. So when 1.35 comes out, let's hope that we have an attachment here for screenshots as well. But what you can do is you can click on the video. It'll open up the video and it'll show you exactly what's happened. So you see, go into Google, go into the page. That's not all with attachments. You saw back um, in my test that I had this expect to have screenshot commented out. So I'm actually going to uh, uncomment this and save it. And what this test is doing is going to commit.quality. It's taking a screenshot of what we see on the page and expecting it to look like this. Now, what I've actually done previously to this, I've taken the screenshot, you can see it here where it's tagged up example Chromium, but I edited it and I, I added this line, this circular line here, so we see a test failure. And the reason I've done that will become 
clear after I rerun the test. So you can see here, uh, we've got watch mode on, so it's already rerun if me on save. Now if I hover over this, let's just make this larger. If I click on this and go over, what we're able to see now is the exact reason why the screenshot comparison failed inside UI mode as part of this attachment. So you can see the diff already is highlighting that it was this manual kind of squiggle that I added. I can go to the actual, I can toggle between actual and expected. Here, obviously, it's quite easy to see that this is different, but the diff helps out here. Now, this wasn't added before, and it, I think it was a feature that was missing. It's really cool to add because if you've got a bunch of visual regression tests now, this is going to make your life so much easier. To be honest, this is the main reason why I wanted to show all of this, is showing how we can kind of organize our tests into these test steps to make our kind of UI trace viewer debugging a lot easier, but also showing you what's happening be behind the scenes with the before hooks and after hooks, but also showing you can add into them, you know, we added our own. Um, same with the screenshots here. Just makes It just makes your life a lot easier. I'm really enjoying the updates with this UI mode and trace viewer. Like I said as well, traces will also um, show you the same so if we just close this down i believe in my playwright config yep we had retain on failure so if i go to test results we can see the trace dot zip here let's reveal that in file ex folder explorer let's drag this trace file into here and you see the exact same outcome here where you've got um all your before hooks your after hooks everything that's happening if you click on have screenshots and go to attachments you can see right here the exact same output. So whether you're debugging locally via the UI mode or you're debugging, say, via continuous integration pipelines, you've still got all this capability and it's going to make your life a lot easier. As always, if you do have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. A like and subscribe will be appreciated. Thank you for watching and have a great day.